Hello guys and welcome again to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do the lab of active active setup in FortiGate firewall. So this is our topology. I have taken the GUI of the FortiGate firewall one. So I will configure, I have configured the WAN interface. It's not required over here. I will configure the LAN interface. Okay, I am done with the policy configuration and now I will do the where we don't require NAT and the traffic will come from LAN to LAN and that is not required from LAN to LAN sorry. Okay. Now uh, security profiles are not required, firewall policies are being configured. So you can see. Static route has been given. So if I check over from over here. Now what I will do, uh, I will do the HA configuration. So this will be, this will be my primary active firewall. Group name HA. Password I will give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Session pickup I will click. Monitor interface, monitor I will click on WAN and LAN. Add with interface, I will click port 3 and port 4 because this is our HA interfaces. I will keep a priority high over here. And one more command is there, I will click on it. Set override in the middle. So what this uh, what this command will do? Basically, if I shut down this firewall, this the traffic will be shifted to this firewall primarily. Okay, but again, if this firewall comes up, then traffic should be distributed over here. Primarily, it should come over here only. Okay. So for that, this command is required. 
apart from that, I will give this name system variable. Uh, now we will move to the secondary firewall. Here we don't need to do the entire configuration. I'll just go into system. I'll go, go in HA. Active passive. I will give the priority lower. Group name is HA. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Monitor interfaces will be port 1 and port 2, which are our LAN interfaces. And hardware interfaces will be uh, port 3 and port 4. Okay, if you want, you can just go over here and check. Interface priority should be lower over here. Apart from that, everything should be same. Just click on OK. Now we might lose the connectivity of this firewall as uh, you know it will sync it up. Yeah, it will take some time out of sync. Meantime, I'll just power on this switch. I'll power on this PC. It will take some time to sync, so we should not panic in such kind of situations. It's losing its bitrate, its reachability. Basically, it is syncing. We have got an IP from the LAN gateway. We will check the reachability towards the gateway. It's working. Similarly, I will try to ping the internet. It's working. You can just check. System session list. This is our LAN IP, it is getting translated to 192.168.0.154 and trying to reach the destination. So it is by default using the source interface NAT. It is similar like PAT. Here, even I don't know.
we should check see this firewall is selected because it's the only member in the cluster which means he has not yet discovered the another firewall the, the secondary firewall is staying out of sync. If you guys check the CLI. Three B. Let me check what is three B. The host name is quite same because the so virtual firewalls out of sync. It will take some time. Okay, we should have some patience in such cases. In sync, you guys can see now it is in sync. See, it's synchronized. Both of the firewalls are now synchronized. Uh, IP will be also same only. See, it's one fifty four. Okay, by default it will choose the primary firewall only. The only difference over here is, if this firewall goes down, we don't have to, like we don't need, we will be not needing a downtime. This is a SSO setup. Okay. All the traffic will have their sessions active over here only. What I'll do, we will we will we will have a containers ping from over here, and we will try to shut down this firewall. Okay. And let's see if the traffic is you know basically shifting to the secondary firewall or not with minimum downtime. So we will go to the primary firewall. It will get shut down. Okay, system is getting shut down. Now let's check if we are getting any downtime or not. System is going down now. Okay. System is going down. Okay. See, there was no downtime. There was no ping response outage. It means our traffic has been shifted successfully on the secondary firewall. SD, SD is in secondary. If I check on system, synchronized, primary, role is primary. Now what I'll do, I will again bring up this firewall. So our, our, like, our goal has been achieved, okay. Okay, you guys can see from ping has started from over here. I have shut down the firewall. There is not even one single packet drop. It has automatically locked out from over here. Our primary firewall is again in picture. Okay. Now if I log in over here. Admin. See, it has been logged in, which means the role of the primary firewall has been overrided again by the primary firewall, again the actual primary firewall. But what about the packet loss? Now I'll just control C it. Our ping has started from over here. As you guys can see, there is not even one single packet loss. Okay, so this is the advantages of keeping 
firewall in active active mode as per my theoretical knowledge like the here basically the tcp based applications are being load balanced okay if if this pc is using any kind of tcp based application okay so that for that kind of application load balancing is happening but for real time traffic there is no load balancing all the traffic will come to the fortinet one and it will go to the outside world but other for but the the decision synchronization is there between the primary firewall and the secondary firewall okay so that's all regarding this video i hope you guys would have liked this video thank you for watching my videos i'm saving seeing your response and with the, and it is very highly motivating me so thank you guys Thank mm -hmm. you.